here to tell you what they believe. I'm here to tell you what you believe. Because I couldn't think of a way to fail any more grandly than that. Consider this. The next time someone wants to tell you what another person thinks, walk away. Change the channel. Just, just quit listening. There are some exceptions. If someone has multiple in-context quotes, if someone has a long series of actions, you may be able to find out where they were. But I still wouldn't trust it. I definitely wouldn't trust anyone who tells you where someone else is going in their thought process. But it seems as, as we watch the media, look around, there's this growing pundit class that doesn't want to put their own words on the line. They want to tell you what someone else believes. They're going to take this belief and they're going to extrapolate some future action. This politician or that celebrity, they say this, but they really believe that. And that leads to fear-mongering. That is frequently something ludicrous or something terrible. The next time you hear some talking head explaining to you what someone else believes, ask yourself, why? Why is this person not explaining their own beliefs, defending their own line of thought, practicing what they're preaching? It turns up with alarming frequency in our politics. It has for a long time, and this needs to change. The Democrats, they want to rule your life, or the Republicans want to invade the whole world. For myself, I'm going to make a serious effort to tune out every candidate who tells me what his or her opponent believes. I figure they must have so little to believe in themselves that they can't spend their time telling me about that. If you want to impress me, actually impress me. Show me, with actions, what it is you believe. Failing that, and almost as good, explain your stance thoroughly. That's all you get for positive credit. You want to stay neutral? Silence. Shut up. But if you want to lose me, tell me what someone else thinks and use that as the reason I should agree with you.